Welcome back everyone. I'm sorry I haven't put out a few videos uh, for a few days and that is because I've been quite busy with college work but um, I've got a little bit of time now to play some Mark of the Ninja which is an excellent game that I've been spending a lot of time with lately. I recently uh, finished the main storyline campaign -y thing so I decided to do some playthroughs with the, yeah, the unlockable costumes that you can get which change the gameplay quite significantly. And I can do that with New Game Plus, which gives me all the abilities that I've already unlocked. Also makes things a lot harder. Right, we will start with Ink and Dreams. I think I'll probably... Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll put the cutscenes in there. Uh, comment if you don't want to see them, of course. Right, I've got 19 on her, so I'm going to grab some upgrades and things. Distraction flat. I'll get the cardboard box. No, no, no. Yes. Um, I want to upgrade... I'm gonna do that. It's a bit creepy. This is quite a creepy game in some ways. It's very, very dark, gotta say. Uh, I think I'll get superior lockpicks, because I'll need them. Parachute cloth? Uh, I don't think I need that particularly. Um, and I'll get that as well. Okay, done. Right, so for the first playthrough, I think I'm going to do Path of the Hunter. Which is unlocked by getting three aggression seals in each level. If you don't want to know what that means, um... I'll try and demonstrate when we actually get into the game. This is a 2D stealth game. Um... In which you are a ninja. Indeed, this ninja. But, of course, I'm using a different costume. As you can see, I can carry two attack items. Normally, I would be able to have a distraction item and an attack item. But with the hunter, I can have two attack items instead. Which is rather good. But, items will not be replenished at checkpoints. Okay, that's fair enough. All active stealth kills will automatically succeed. That's fair enough. Right, let's give it a go. I'm here to help you. Rule number one, don't get me killed. I think that's my conscience. Right. New game plus mode. In the normal game you can see everything that's around you. In new game plus you can't see anything that's behind you. Which is, well you can sort of see everything that's behind you, but uh, not really. It's all blurred. Which is rather good, I think. Uh, it sort of adds to the suspense and the tension. Right, you can see I go black in the top corner as well as my actual character goes black when I'm in shadow, and when I'm in light, uh, you can see me in colour. I can break the light by aiming at it, and then throwing a dart. Seriously, if you haven't played this game, um, you might get some spoilers actually, so if you haven't played, then uh, go and play it now. Right. There's some amazing moves that you can do. Everything's so fluent. There is a ninja that's just been shot. Ah, uh, so you think... Poor chap. Oh. Vault up on there and jump over there. You can run about. Ah, there's another thing that New Game Plus does. So, in the normal game you can see um, how much noise something is making because it makes us a ring around it. In this it doesn't, so it's going to be a lot trickier. I think I'm going to impose a self-challenge in which if I die five Wait, times, then that's it. Where's your sword? 
I have no idea. Stick to the darkness until you find one. Okay, I think I actually get a sword straight away. In New Game Plus. Look at this poor chap. I can't ring the bell, damn it. So you can do a bunch of moves. Without a sword, you can't actually kill anybody. Watch out. Uh -oh. They're coming this way. So what I can do here, break the light. If I keep hiding behind here, he will eventually turn around and I can uh, stick him. That was good. Okay. I'm going to try not to explain the normal game too much because really it's something that you need to experience on your own. Uh oh. Find a place to hide. Come on, lads. I'm gonna wait till he's passed and then I'm gonna take this guy out. And then And there we go. It's usually a lot harder to kill people because you've got to um it's sort of a quick time event normally. In which you need to first press X and then it tells you a direction that you need to point. Obviously with the path of the hunter costume you don't need to do that. Oh, we've got some company. These evil people. Alright, you can die. Uh oh. Right, so he's going over there, and now I can do this. They saw you. Run. Ah no, they didn't. I killed them all, Muppet. Yeah. I think the woman that's talking if you play the game all the way through you'll probably be able to tell that it's pretty much your conscience. Because Get under that ledge. she never gets there, spotted. You can pull yourself up. Shut up. She never gets spotted, she never seems to die. Oh, grappling hook, yay! So I can now grapple onto places. I can only grapple onto bits where it says I can grapple. Like up there. I found a haiku, except uh, it won't show me because I already unlocked it once. I'm sure there must be some way to uh, find out what it says. But I don't know what it is. Okay, we've got company. I want to see what these terror darts are like, so if I chuck one of these... Yeah, I've just terrorised that guard. Language? You and me. Yeah, so terrorising a guard makes him basically um, want to shoot everything because he suspects everything is at fault. And you can do that in a number of ways, as you can see with the Hisomo terror darts as well as the... Um, what's it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now you're ready to kill. Shut up. The beginning of the kill is like embracing the lover. The end, of course, is not. Thank you for that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, terrorizing guards. You can also drop um, dead bodies right next to him, and that usually works. There we go. You can see my score there. I'm getting points for doing various things like uh, distracting guards and. Um, getting perfect kills and so on and so forth. Oh! Whoops. Can I... Ha! Okay, what's down here? Oh! What was that? I can chuck a dart at the light. There we go. So you can. This is the focus mode. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So if I go into focus mode, I can use. I've got my items here. So I can use one of each. Or. Well, I can throw three things, basically. So I could throw three darts. Or. I could throw one of these and one of these and also a dart. In more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But shattering one will make a loud noise. So be ready for them to react. Yes, thank you. Oop. Yes, so you can't kill people by punching them. What you can do is punch them so much that they get knocked out and then kill them. But you get you don't get very many points for that. Might try and demonstrate that at some point. Right. I'll wait for him to walk away. I can see where his footsteps are, you can see them little rings there. Did I hear 
I just punched that guy by accident, oh well. He didn't seem to care. I wonder if I can do this. He doesn't seem to care at all that his, his buddy's dead. There, brilliant. Ha! Yeah, you see, I just terrorised him then. But... And you get a number of points for doing so. I'm going to wait here for him to come over here. Then I'll take him down. Of course, they move really slowly. Dum -dum 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 -dum. There we are. And there's an artifact which I can have. Hurry up. Take out the light and then climb up on here. Right. I've got to say the soundtrack's very good for this, it's very... There we go. Hmm. I don't understand why it's body hidden over there but not over here. Oh well. I mustn't worry about that too much. I can kick the gong. Like, um... Mini the Moocher. Okay, what's here? Can I break that? Oh yeah, that's a chandelier. Watch this. There's nowhere I can hide them bodies, unfortunately, but I can run around a bit. Is there anything back here? Yeah, so you can sort of sneak through lockpicks to see what's through a door. You can also do this, which is supposed to come later in the game, but I've already got it because I'm in New Game Plus, as I've said earlier. There's... Oh, right, there's supposed to be a haiku through there, but of course I've already got it, so... I cannot tell you what it says. Is there anything down here now? Right. Let's press forward. First level is always very easy, but it does ramp up quite suddenly. Well, not suddenly, but it uh, does get quite difficult quite quickly. We need to make him look the other way. Was that? Come here. Um. The music's a little bit weird. In the It'll often play the music that's pl supposed to play when you're spotted, and it plays it when you're not been spotted. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Anyway, I'm going to lean on this door until he comes closer. Because you can't, they can't hear you coming through doors, which is a bit weird. And there we go. Take him down. And there's another haiku through here. Come on, give me that haiku. Take down these lights just because. Anything through here now? Gotta be careful when running because it does make quite a lot of sound. Go down here. And then I can just take this guy down. Oh dear. I've been spotted then. Ha! Now okay, can drop bodies through uh, the vents as well. Right. On we go, and I shall try and say something funny every now and again. Hmm. I scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have to hurry. As you can see in the top left there, I'm getting uh, progress on these seals. That's what I was talking about with the aggression seal. So, I don't think... As you can see there, the dragon is the aggression seal, the fish is the uh, silence, or stealth seal, something like that. Um, and the other one is something else, I have no idea. It doesn't unlock your costume at any rate. Right. Oh, we've got trouble. I'm gonna take that out. I think. I heard something. Take him out, and then I should be able to drop him through the vent to hide the body. What's down here? There's a ninja which needs saving. Oh, I can't walk across this ceiling, which is a bit annoying. I can do this though. And he won't notice at all. 
Oh, hide before he spots me. Ha! Ah. Right, good. There we are. And rescue that ninja. They caught us by surprise. Through we go. Ah, there's another ninja here. Uh, right, I want to use one of these because it's funny. Well, it's not funny really, but uh, it's interesting nonetheless. It's actually rather gruesome. This game is certainly not one for your kids. Even though it looks like Samurai Jack, and that's something that I quite like, the art style. Because it fits, but at the same time has this sort of um, cartoony quality. Look at this guy, who do you think he is? Can I do this? Yes! He's terrorised now. Oh, and I missed him. Fantastic. I think he just shot the ninja, and the ninja is fine. Okay, let's try a different approach. I'll sneak through here. Mustn't run or else he'll see me. If I hide behind here... Actually, I don't think that's necessary. There we are. Took him down to Chinatown. See, that's two many of the Mucha references now. Fantastic. See if I can get any more in. Throw him over there. Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. Okay. That's what I was doing anyway. Hide behind the dragon. There's a ninja up there. I can knock him down. And then what I can do, I can do this, and then... Hmm. Yeah, not very nice. Just knock him down. But, anything to save my fellow man? Oh, they overwhelmed us. Any excuse. There's obviously somebody there. I can dive between pieces of scenery, quite simply. Actually, no, I won't do that. What I will do. Oh dear, I seem to have been spotted! Right, take this guy down. That was a kill that I just got by punching the guy and knocking him over and then killing him. As you can see, I didn't get nearly as many points as I would have. There's no point in dropping it down there, really, because it doesn't count as hiding it. Right. Uh, is there anybody I can throw this body at? I just feel like ringing that gong. Oh, there's a gong down there. I'm gonna ring it. Oops. Oh. Go down here, get the artifact, which seems to be a cat. Uh huh. Come on, you. Pull him down and then. Oh! <laughs> That guy did not notice his friend just getting killed. I'll use the gong. Ha! And there we go. Many, many points for me. Nothing up here. So as you can see, there's a lot of... I like how this game has multiple ways of doing things. For example, you could... Here, if there was a guard here waiting, you could either distract him by going up here and taking him on face to face, or you could go up that way, or you could uh, use a distraction item and take him out that way. So there's a load of different ways to do things in this, and that's something that I quite like when games do that. Pro choice. I know it doesn't mean nearly the same thing as it's supposed to, but uh, whatever. Check this guy out. This focus mode, by the way, actually stops time if I just, uh, oh, look at this guy. You picked the wrong guys to rob, Sensei. 
Time for the old man to retire, boys. Well, obviously, they're not planning on killing him, or else they would have killed him already. Knock that down. Terrify that guard. Go over here. Go through a vent. I can look through the keyhole on that door, but I can't actually get through. So, now. Oh, actually, that's not a good idea. I'll go to the other side instead. Hup. And then pull him through and. Problem solved. Hup. Can I ring that gong? Pwang. Let's free Master Azai. Must have as I. For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must strike back. We will fight for our survival and our honor. I foresaw this day would come. And so, I called upon a champion to fight for us. He has accepted the first mark. He will defend the clan at a terrible cost. That's how many guards I've killed, and that's how many guards I've killed. <laughs>